faster, man. <laughs> they, they tried to help him out, boost him up a little bit. I mean, he's, a, he's still fast. I ain't gonna say he's fast, but I'm quicker than fast. So, if you want to be fast, you can be fast. But he ain't gonna be quick enough. So. But nah, that's, that's, a, that's an athlete right there. So, do you think that's a legit 40 time, though, that he put up? A 4, 5, yeah, 7, or whatever? It is. No, I ain't gonna doubt it, you know. He's an athlete. So. But, you know, a lot of guys uh, on the team were saying, like, okay, I ran this, but I'm faster than him. So, I mean, I don't know. So, you just gotta see it. You know, for myself. I ain't see it for myself, so I don't know. How do you think you did today? I did well. You know, um, got better on all the you know, testing for I'm mean, 40, vertical broad. You know, a lot of things that I needed to increase, but it's our drills. Drills are well too. What kind of feedback have you gotten from NFL teams as far as where you need to improve as a player? Um, they haven't really told me anything I had to improve on. Um, I guess mainly just staying low in my backpack. Well, not really in my backpack, but opening up. When I open up, don't get too high because I'm a longer guy. So. Just staying low. Does the height give you an advantage over maybe some other corners that are out there? Yeah, somewhat. You know, um, <laughs> just going up for the ball. I guess being tall, is, is, that's cool and all, but if you don't use it, you know, the right way, being long, if you don't use it the right way, you know, it doesn't help. So. Has anyone mentioned safety as a possibility yeah. given that height? Yeah, some, uh, some teams just ask, have I played safety before? And I say, yeah, in high school I played a lot of safety. Uh, so they know that's why, that's how I'm able to track the ball well, but not really playing the league, I don't know. Just knowing how I, where I got my ability from. Have you gotten a feel where you might fall in the draft, though? It's, it's everywhere. I could go first round, I could go seventh round undrafted, and it's everywhere. You know? Either way, it's a blessing. So, I, I, me, I prefer the you know, late rounds, you know, because I like to, like to you know, go after it, you know, be hungry, and that chip on my shoulder. I've always had it, and I've never had it any other way besides that. So, teams take me last, you know, it's, it's, it's all cool, man. Let's go after it. So what do you plan to do over the days of the draft? I mean, that's, you know, hours and hours of watching and waiting for you. Or are you going to just tune it out or are you going to no, be I'm just going to watch it. You know, I got style. guys, I got a lot of guys, you know, going to the draft this year. So I'm, you know, I'm congratulating them. I'm going to be happy. I'm more happy than some of their parents. But uh, I'm going to be happy for them. And I'm uh, just watching a lot of guys, you know. Do you and Jordan leaving that opens the door for some young guys? What, do you, what have you seen out of some of those younger guys at corner for next uh, year? They look good. You know, I have, I'll, I'll be back for their practice today. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I've I heard they've, they've been doing well. It's a lot of learning. You know, it's going to take a while to, you know, learn the plays, learn the techniques, stuff like that. But you know, I've heard they've been doing well. You know, still got some guys come back and play a little bit last year. So it should be good. Yeah, specifically LaVert Hill, David Long. You got a chance to see them last year yeah, as young yeah. guys. What, what have you seen out of them? Um, this is good, man. They're athletes, man. Like, they, they, they like to learn. They, like, they love to learn. Um, got guys like Keith Washington, uh, Brandon Washington. You know, he played a lot. Uh, it's going to be his big year for him. All of them, you know, all of them just been working, you know, the athletes. They know how, they know what it takes to win. You know, they, and some of them know what it takes to lose. The other guys kind of, they was with us, so you know, they, they'll be good. Channing, what do you think are the biggest gains that you've made since, from the end of the season to now, you know, for Pro Day? Um, getting more, getting smarter. Just getting smarter in the, in the books, you know, in the, in the classroom with uh, playbooks and stuff like that. Also with, you know, just getting, getting stronger, faster, and then just things like that. What is the value of today's Pro Day for you, for some of the other guys here? Um, just getting more exposure. You know, a lot of some of the guys we had didn't go to the combine, didn't go to, you know, uh, any uh, all-star games. So a lot of it was just, you know, showing what they can do, um, which is good for them, for everyone. But uh, the guys that all went, you know, just making sure that we show, you know, what we can do on a consistent basis, not just a you know, one-time thing. I think I saw you joking around on Twitter a couple weeks ago, some graphic that had your run defense like rated really really Oh yeah. So did you do you make a point to like kind of not take those things too seriously? Oh no, no. Every uh, Mags had told me, why don't you retweet everything bad about you? That's because I've always had it that way since I've been growing up. Yeah. Uh, nobody's ever told me you know, I'm good at this, I'm good at that. Even my you know, my dad, my dad always said, hey, you can get better. If I had a good game, he said, hey, you didn't do this right. So I mean, I like to see you know the bad things more than the good things to just you know keep me moving, keep me pushing. So, you know, all that, I was just like, I mean, I ain't know it was that bad. I mean, it's bad, <laughs> but I guess they took a more emphasis on mine, which is cool. You know, that means they're watching, so it's cool. What kind of an impact has Coach Zordich had on your career here? He's an NFL guy, had a lot of experience. Just what's it been like being coached by him? It's a great him? impact. Um, coach Zordich is a great coach. Um, he doesn't take anything from anybody, no matter how good you are. And, you know, that's that's how I've always liked my coaches. You know, I like, like uh, playing. Um, even if I do well, you know, say so I can get better. Never ease up on anybody, but he's a great coach. You know the experience he had um, in the league, plus coaching. You know it was great for us. You joked about the run defense thing. I mean, every guy that's out there.